instead of talking about what's going on and what's going wrong. And obviously there are some things, you know, that we do have to talk about as far as belt tightening, but I think there are things that we have to make sure we're maintaining because we're trying to attract big things here so that we can continue to grow and put ourselves ahead of, of you know, some of the places that are around us that aren't in that position. And I wanted to clarify too that I'm not opposed to maintaining what we have, but I am opposed to over maintaining. Mm -hmm. And I do think that there are some overly maintained aspects, like I just pointed out the parks. Um, and I'm not suggesting we should let them all go to weeds <laughs> by any means, because um, that would be foolish. But it's definitely something that I think is pertinent to, to look at. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess that kind of leads into the question, you know, the city, the city council seems to be supportive of um, adding radiant heat radiant heating to the bleacher areas in the Cottage Grove Ice Arena and the expand, expanded area. Um, maybe I'll start with you this time, Chris. What do you think of that? Well, you know, you, you hear two different sides of it, and obviously uh, a lot of people will say, well, the, hockey, the, the people that use the facility should, should be the ones that put the bill for that. But then you, you can say the same thing about, well, then only the people that have kids that play soccer should be paying for the soccer fields and so forth. The, the residuals that a lot of people don't see are that, you know, when we have hockey tournaments here, Ruby Tuesdays fills up, Applebee's fills up, and all those other things that fill up. Is it directly going back to the city? No, but it is going into the businesses in the city. Um, we built the building. It was needed not just necessarily from, from a standpoint of, well, we want more kids to play hockey, but when you're talking about sending sending kids who are at the age of 12 to River Falls at 5 o'clock in the morning to do practice for hockey, you have to do something for it. So, you know, it's something that I'm actually for. I, th I think it's a good idea. I think, you know, we need to do something that makes it, makes it an attractive building so that we can continue to host, make it a building where people actually want to come, make it a destination so that we're hosting hockey tournaments, we're hosting different things that can come into the building uh, during the summer months where it may not be used for it. <laughs> and and I I completely disagree because I see that as a want right now and again I think that Cottage Grove right now has enough as far as amenities as far as what it needs to be attractive to a business what would make it more attractive let's take for instance for my parents they have a business in South St. Paul when their taxes go up, they're not happy about it. And that makes them that much closer to wanting to say, look, we just improved our building. You evaluate it at a higher price and you're gonna tax us more for making our building look nicer. Um, so, you know, when you put yourself in the position of having to pay for things that are wants, and then you have to raise taxes further down the road for businesses, it has a negative effect on the businesses there. Um, so I think you got to look at the long term and not just the short term of are the heaters going to bring in an extra five people? Maybe they will. I don't know. Maybe they'll bring in an extra ten. Maybe they won't bring in any more people. I don't think we know that. And before a decision is made on that, it, you know, you got to do your homework as well. But again, principally, totally opposed to the want factor right now. Mm -hmm. um, do you think, so are you thinking that that's something that the hockey parents should pay for or somebody else should pay for? How should they fund that if they? I think that they could have fundraisers. If they're able to raise enough funds, fine. Mm -hmm. Then they can put her in and that I don't have any problem with that at all. If they can't, then they can't. And there wasn't enough of demand for it, or people didn't work hard enough for it, or the economy was too bad to do it. And that's reflected in the results. All right. Well, um, I might switch gears a little bit to Washington County. Um, they're talking about um, asking their unions to come back, reopen contract negotiations, and um, possibly t take a wage freeze. Um, how do you guys feel about about that idea? Well, you know, um, 
at one time I was part of a part of a, a guild and I think it's a hard thing for for someone to be in that position and swallow when you see that you know they're you're being asked to do that but other people are giving an increase mm -hmm. um, I definitely think that there should be a goodwill effort to say you know we understand that we're asking you to take a concession or at least a freeze we would give you know either give back or take a cut from those who aren't part of the union mm -hmm. so as long as it's a cross the board freeze you're okay with it not necessarily a freeze i think there i think there should be a you know there was a raise raise given last year during some really tough times and i think it would be a you know if you're going to ask a union to take a re to, to take a freeze uh it can't be just we're going to make you do this there has to be a concession i, I think it should be a, a, a reduction for, for those that aren't in that same position, you know, who are who are receiving increases last year when, when they were actually negotiating a contract for the unions, it should have been foreseen. Okay. Right, and I would agree with that as well. That uh, if you received a pay raise, and there's been a lot of chatter about that too, commissioners receiving pay raises, giving themselves pay raises in that economic condition, I think it would show great leadership to say we're going to rescind those pay raises we're going to go back to where we were and we're doing this to show you that we're serious about you know balancing all this out we want to get everybody on the same page here um, so i don't think you'll find too much disagreement with chris and i on that if that's his position uh, but again the bigger the government gets the more you have the wants and you get away from the needs and those need to be looked at too.